Hello everyone. I'm sorry I cannot be with you in person for this conference, but I want to thank Prime Minister Singh for his extraordinary leadership on agriculture and nutrition. And I want to thank the International Food Policy Research Institute for inviting me to speak with you. 50 years after the Green Revolution, nearly 1 billion people do not have enough to eat. In the time it takes you to watch this video, 40 children will have died from hunger. Across the developing world, nearly one in three children suffers from malnutrition. And yet, world agriculture produces 17 calories more per person than it did 30 years ago. You know, this is enough to provide every person on earth with at least 2,720 calories per day. At the same time, another one billion people are overweight or obese, many suffering from chronic diseases associated with being overweight. This is not a food failure, it is a system failure. The message of this conference is clear. We can meet the world's needs so long as we work together to create change. The question is not just the quantity of food people are getting, but the quality. We must collaborate to better improve lives by aligning the needs of agriculture and the needs of nutrition. As the CEO of the world's second largest food and beverage company, I believe that companies like PepsiCo must lead in finding solutions. Companies like PepsiCo are uniquely positioned to help farmers and growers improve production, processing and manufacturing. We can use our supply chain expertise to reduce food waste and deliver better nutrition. For instance, in India, PepsiCo worked directly with farmers to triple the yields of tomatoes, chili peppers and other crops, and we helped local scientists implement drip irrigation, enabling PepsiCo India to achieve a positive water balance in 2009. Of course, abundant and safe water is an essential element of nutrition. In turn, we are able to increase the consumption of fruits and vegetables for overnourished and undernourished alike. Now, we are bringing that experience to Africa. I recently met with Joseph Shireen of the World Food Program and Dr. Shah of the USAID to launch a partnership to reinvigorate agricultural value chains in Africa. We will start by focusing on the chickpea, a nutritious crop that can be grown with minimal resources. And this partnership includes sharing agricultural expertise, developing infrastructure for warehousing and distribution, and improving processing, manufacturing, and marketing. PepsiCo is just one company, but if every company in a position to make a difference gets involved, there is no telling how many lives we can save together. At PepsiCo, we look forward to doing our part to make hunger a thing of the past. Thank you.